I'm Corrado Tamurino from Catania, Italy. I have the honor of being here with uh, Carlo Briguori from Naples, Italy, and uh, Markus Meyer Gessner from Dusseldorf, Germany. So today we will discuss uh, an exciting and interesting technology that is the self-expanding technology in coronary arteries. And with the two speakers, we will discuss what, where, why, and how implant uh, appropriately this technology. So let's start with Markus Meyer Gessner. So uh, what is this technology? It has three specific features. So first of all, it's self-opposing to the vessel wall. So in contrast to conventional stents, it has the uh, option really to expand automatically and completely opposed to also tapering vessels and large vessels. So this makes it really specific. Uh, the second thing is, in contrast to previous versions, we have now a device which is balloon expandable. So the previous version was um, self-expandable, now we have the balloon expandable version, so we can place it more precisely than the previous uh, one. And the third feature is you can disconnect the, the struts and so you have uh, the opportunity to scaffold like a window, an opening to a side branch to facilitate also provisional side plant stand. With no kissing balloon when you dilate the side branch access. This, is, this makes it very easy. Uh, it's not necessary to uh, perform a kissing because it's self-opposing. It's, it's not deformed if you just put a balloon towards the struts in the side branch. Good. Let's ask uh, Carlo Briguori. Uh, seeing, having seen these uh, technical features, uh, which are the indications and why? So having this uh, background, uh, the te technology, uh, this tend to make it really ideal for the bifurcation issue. Not because this is a dedicated bifurcation device, but because it solves one major problem we have uh, in the selection of the stent when we treat bifurcation lesion, the conventional balloon expandable DS, which is the stent size. Because we know that when we treat the bifurcation, we have a proximal main vessel, which is larger, and the distal main vessel, which is smaller, and we need to select the, the stand according to the distal part because uh, alternatively we will have uh, occlusion of the side branch. With this device, uh, we can solve this problem because it accommodates uh, to the vessel uh, tapering from the proximal to the distal. So it's very easy to solve uh, this major because problem. Because each size has a minimum and maximum of expansion, no? Exactly. Even though you select the small one, which is 2.5 up to 3, it may go up, up, up to 4. So if the proximal part is 4 millimeter and uh, the proximal vessel and the distal part, part is 2.5, it's, uh, it's okay. You don't have to postulate or to do proximal optimization technique, whatever that is necessary with the conventional so DS. So left main is the major setting? The ideal setting is left main the because we have a very large left main up to 5-6 mm. The mean diameter of left main is more than 5 mm and the proximal LED is 3-3.5. So the, this mismatch is more than 1 mm. So the, this is the ideal setting where I need to, I would like to, to, to put this thing. Nevertheless, other indications are all other bifurcations all and the other mismatch, aneurysms okay. also. Aneurysm also, and at the beginning was specifically designed in the acute MI, because in acute MI we have a lot of thrombus okay. uh, along the, the wall. If you, if you select the small stand, because uh, you have a lot of thrombus, as soon as the thrombus dissolve, the stand, you have a lot of malposition. The device is ideal to adapt to the, to the real vessel diameter. So, I think that we can sum up, this is an interesting te technology, it's a self-expanding stand in nitinol, S medicated with serolimus, it's balloon expandable, although it's uh, uh, self-expanding, so the balloon is useful for implanting the stand, but after that we need, a, and after the pre-dilatation, we need a post-dilatation, in order to accommodate the stand to the vessel wall, that which is very very uh, useful and appropriate indicated uh, for uh, mismatch vessel large vessel bifurcations aneurysm tapered vessel where the caliber is uh, 
changing from a part to another and is a technology that makes easy the life for the interventionist and for the patient in specific cases. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.